Hey friends, it's Miss Bell. Today we're going to be reading a story called Whose Hands Are These? A Community Helper Guessing Book. Before we read, can you show me your hands? Nice job. Can you give me a high five? Nice job. Today when we read this story, friends, we're going to see lots of different hands doing lots of different things. We're going to find out and make smart guesses about who we think those hands belong to. Are you ready? Here we go. Hands can wiggle, hands can clap, hands can wrap and flap and tap, but hands can help. So raise yours, please. Can you guess whose hands are these? Ho and so, these hands are soiled. Sweep and reap, these hands have toiled. In the barn, these hands are charmers. These hands belong to many... Who do you think, friends? Who works on a farm and plants different vegetables and fruits and helps take care of chickens and feed cows? Whose hands are these? They're farmer's hands. That's right. And look, here's the farmer. He's holding a pitchfork. And there's a boy and a girl. And it looks like they're playing with a little baby cow and a chicken and a baby chick. Nice job. Let's do some more. Choose peruse, these hands are picky. Mix and mash, these hands are sticky. These hands flip through food stained books. These hands belong to gifted. Let's see. Cooks, that's right. Cooks, friends, is another word for chef. I see a lot of chefs in this kitchen, and what are they doing? Yeah, you see lots of things they're doing. I see this man is putting a pizza in the oven. This girl is spinning a pizza up high, and these two chefs or cooks are cutting with a knife and sprinkling some cheese. What do you think they're making? Mmm, yeah, I think they're making pizza too. Yummy, yummy. Let's do another one and find out whose hands are these. Stop and go. These hands are waving. Catch that guy. He's misbehaving. These hands help us keep the peace. Hold yours up. It's the police. You're right. We saw police hands. Way to go. Let's see the next one. Quest and test, these hands are turning. Test again, these hands are learning. Weigh and count, their work persists. These hands belong to, oh, this is tricky. I see these people are using a microscope and they're wearing gloves and using a beaker. Whose hands are these? A scientist. A scientist runs tests and different experiments in a science lab. Let's count and see how many scientists there are. Ready? Get your pointer finger out. We're going to count the scientists. We're going to start with one. Here we go. Let's touch and count. One, two, three. Way to go. How many scientists are there? There are three. Awesome job. Let's see who is next. Push and play, these hands are shaping. Wet with clay, these hands are scraping. These hands keep on adding water. These are the hands of one great potter. This is a new community helper. We haven't learned about this person yet. A potter is a type of artist who uses clay to make things like bowls and cups. Do you see here, there's a big bowl on the top shelf and some mugs here. And what is he doing with this mug? That's right, he is painting. All right, let's see who's next after the potter. Taking notes, these hands are writing. Breaking story, how exciting. These hands can type or hold recorders. These hands belong to news reporters. I think this is a new community helper too. A news reporter is somebody who writes articles for the newspaper 
or holds a microphone and tells the news for people to watch on TV. It looks like this man is telling some silly news. Look up here. What happened? Yeah, that man got stuck in a tree. That is so silly. That is the news reporter. And I see another community helper here coming to help. Who is that person? Yeah, he's a firefighter. And he's carrying a ladder so he can climb up, up, up and rescue this man. There's lots of community helpers in that picture. All right, let's see who's next. Yank and crank, these hands are smeared. Reach and wrench, they've disappeared. When something breaks, these hands don't panic. These hands belong to a mechanic. That's right. A mechanic is somebody who can fix a car if the car is broken. They use lots of different tools. Let's see, I see some tools. Ooh, like a drill and a wrench over here. Maybe some spray or a hammer. Do you see any other tools? Yeah, nice job, friends. All right, let's see who's next. Dream and sketch. These hands draw lines. Stack and build. They form designs. Measure twice. Check all the specs. These hands belong to architects. Ooh, that's a really fun community helper. An architect is somebody who designs or draws the layouts or the plans for new buildings. Do you see here they're drawing a blueprint? A blueprint is what the construction workers use to make a new building. And I see some construction workers back here. They're carrying some wood. All right, let's see who's next. Arms up high, these hands keep score. Throwing flags, they say no more. Each hand signs and oversees. These hands belong to referees. Wow, look at that community helper. That's a new one too. A referee is somebody you would see at a sports game. Can you think of some sports that you know? Nice job. This sport here is baseball. I also see referees during football games and even during soccer games or basketball games. All right, let's see who's next. Rub and scrub, these hands are clean. Wearing gloves, these hands are green. These hands have a healing mission. These hands belong to your Physician, way to go. A physician is another word for doctor. It's a different word. You could call them a physician or you could call them a doctor. This doctor is helping this boy. It looks like he maybe hurt what? Yeah, maybe he hurt his leg, ouch. She's wearing a stethoscope around her neck that she can use to check your heartbeat. All right, let's see who's next. Come on in, these hands wave sweetly. Caked in chalk, these hands write neatly. These hands care for kids and creatures. These hands belong to helpful teachers. That's right, just like the teacher in your classroom. Look at all of these students sitting around the table. It looks like they're learning about this reptile. I think it's maybe a chameleon. Ooh, that's a long word, chameleon. All right, let's see who's next. Greeting, eating, dressing, sharing, cleaning, caring, or repairing. Let your hands try something new. One day, what could your hands do? The end. Nice job, friends. Thanks for reading along with me. I know you see a lot of community helpers that you know and we just learned about in this picture. I can't wait to read with you guys again soon. I'll talk to you later. Bye.